Okay, now that we've done the five steps, it is extremely important that you read the scenarios. In your exam, I recommend you read the scenario beforehand, before you've opened Sage, before you've done your five steps, just to get a general consensus of what your exam is based on. So if we go to page three and we look at sales, we know that the Grey Store is a UK furniture business and Kate Allen has asked you to convert her manual bookkeeping to computerised. But you need to understand what you're selling, what your stock is. So most of Grey's office store's income is generated from online sales where customers trade, pay through online payment system. The business also sells its items to other businesses in the north and south region of the United Kingdom. Kate likes to keep her records tight and she wants to do any online sales using the nominal code online sales. Any sales to the north using the nominal code sales to shops north. Any to the south sales to shops south nominal code. When we're looking at stock, all stock is stored and rented unit where goods are dispatched from. The business purchases some of its goods as completed products, which she then sells on, and other items are bought by the business in the form of raw materials. So you will need to make some nominal codes, one same purchases completed units, the other one same purchases raw materials. You've been asked to carry out the bookkeeping task for June 2000 only, the first month of the business, and you'll be using the computerised accounting software at the start of the accounting period. We've already done our assessment where we, at the beginning, chose June and we've set our programme date to be the last day of the month. So if we look at task one, it says refer to the customer listing below and set up customer records to open sales ledger accounts for each customer, entering opening balances as at the 1st of June. So you'll see from the table, you've got customer name and address, customer account code and customer account details. So everything here is telling you it's customer, so we'll click on customer. <coughs> as we've got an account number and account name, We've got to create a record, so we're going to click on new. Here we're going to do what we'd learn in level one, GIF001, the account number. Then we're going to type in the account name. Now, I prefer to put the address in first and then do the opening balance, but you choose which way you prefer. So I'm going to put the address in, three high street. Meadowville, postcode in postcode, now these are two things that I haven't taught you so we're going to have to make sure that you understand that. First one is we want to go to activity, uh, not activity, credit control sorry, credit control We've been told that there is a 30 day payment, which is in the third box. So here we're going to type 30 days, where it says 30 days. We're going to do payment due 30 days. And then here in the details, we're going to basically, in sorry, trading terms, we're going to say 30 days. I'm going to go back to details and I'm going to click on opening balance and say yes to that. If you've been given a reference number, you'll put the reference in. If you haven't, we're going to do O slash BAL 1st of June. It's an invoice unless you're told otherwise. So if you're not told anything, always invoice. But if you are told credit note, then you'll click here and change it to credit. But it's, it, it is an invoice. We'll press save and then we'll save again. So we'll do the next one, HAP001. Happy engineers. Limited. If you want to do the opening balance first, then do the opening balance. It's not a, no did problem. So O slash BAL, 1st of June, invoice 1425.65. Save, 
then you can put your address in the Grange Totten postcode in postcode now make sure that you spell everything properly with the account number once it's saved you cannot amend it so you must make sure that the account number is correct the company name the address can be changed at any time we now want to go and do credit control this one is 30 days so in settlement due i'm going to say 30 in payment due i'm going to say 30 and in trading terms i'm going to write 30 days and then when I'm happy, I press save. And then we do the last one, P-E-R-0-0-1, Perry Cars. I like to do the address first, but if you want to do the opening balance, that's your choice. Postcode in postcode. happen there but I'll just put the postcode in like I said addresses account num names can be changed at any time but account numbers and opening balance is a bit more difficult I'm going to click on opening balance yes I want to save it o slash b a l o one it's an invoice and don't forget to put the amount in once I've done that, I'm going to go to credit control and I'm going to put in my details. 45 days. 45 days. 45 days. And there we have it. When we're done, we can close and you'll see that your customers are here. Their account numbers are here, their balances are there. And that's task one now complete.